let's talk about everything there is to know about Wildwood. If you're moving to the area, if you live here, whatever it is, Wildwood is a gorgeous area. It's a beautiful suburb in St. Louis. And hey, you know what? They were just ranked number one by niche.com as the best suburb to raise a family in St. Louis. Now I will say, it's huge, it's got a lot to offer, it's beautiful, but it's not the closest into the city. So if you're gonna be driving into St. Louis, you could easily be looking at 30 to 40 minutes to get into the city because you are pretty far west in Wildwood. It is a huge area, you will see a lot of different types of neighborhoods, and it is actually the biggest municipality in St. Louis, just by the sheer land that it covers. And hey, welcome to the Living St. Louis channel. My name is Jacob, if you're new here, here. So here's the quick rundown of Wildwood. It's very woodsy, very outdoorsy. I mean, you're looking at tons of state parks, hiking trails, outdoor space. You will see a bunch of hills driving up through the woods in Wildwood, and you will see some of these very big subdivisions and suburban homes, but you will also see the further west you go, a lot more rural pieces of land, lots of woods, some of these pieces of, you know, big property out in Wildwood that get more rural, you get more remote the further out there you go. Depending on where on the spectrum you wanna be from very rural to very suburban, you're gonna see a mix of all that in Wildwood depending on where you are. I mean, literally, if you're looking for a cute home for your family in a neighborhood with a community pool, tennis courts, volleyball courts, you'll see that. You will also see, if you want a you know beautiful horse ranch in the woods with a bunch of land and all the property you can think of, You'll find that in Wildwood too. So in this video, I wanna talk just about the general area, different types of neighborhoods you'll see. Then I wanna go into two projects you wanna think about if you're moving here or if you live here. And hey, if you are moving to Wildwood or somewhere else in St. Louis, if you're looking at buying a house, buying a condo, you want some help with that relocation, just shoot us an email, shoot us a text, whatever you want. My team and I are a real estate group. We'd love to help you with that. Up to you, just throwing that out there. All right, back to the video. So Wildwood is huge. Like I said, this is the largest municipal in St. Louis County in terms of land area. I mean, if you look at it on the map, Wildwood is just like this huge chunk of Western St. Louis County, and it's got a lot of different areas within it. Now, it's also one of the newest townships in St. Louis. It was incorporated in 1995. So basically, 20 years ago, a lot of the developments out there that exist today weren't around. It was much more rural, much more woodsy throughout. But here's the interesting thing. So if you're looking at houses on Zillow anywhere in Wildwood, you'll probably see some that say Wildwood, but you'll also see some that say Glencoe or they say Grover. And if you're like, where the heck is that? Wildwood is kind of made up of these 11 different villages, kind of historic communities that go all the way back to the 1800s with settlers in Missouri. Grover and Glencoe are two of them. You'll hear them used in conversation to kind of reference where they are. Grover is kind of like the old town center kind of commercial area along Manchester. Glencoe is like a little bit further west and it just kind of refers to different areas. Some other ones are Orville, Centaur, Fox Creek, and Melrose. And those are also the names of some of the big roads going through Wildwood. So that's just a fun fact before Wildwood existed. It was 11 of these quaint little villages that have some historic sites. I mean, you'll see these old churches, elementary schools, restaurants, post offices, kind of throughout Wildwood. You'll see the newer developments, but then you'll see just kind of randomly some of these historic sites or an old cemetery that goes back to one of those 11 historic villages. And a bunch of it is all along historic Route 66, which does go right through Wildwood. And if you look at Wildwood on the map, you'll notice Route 109 going through, that's one of your main roads, and then Route 100, they kind of segment Wildwood into quadrants, and then right in the middle where they intersect is the town center. So I'll talk about that more in a minute. Now, if you're just trying to get a sense of different neighborhoods and different types of houses you'll see in Wildwood, you'll see anything from some condos all around the town center. You will see newer developments and some of these big master plan subdivisions. And really everything on the eastern side of Route 109, if you're close to where Wildwood touches Chesterfield, Ellisville, and Baldwin, that's where you will see some of these bigger 
subdivisions. I mean, your typical suburbia, the houses are close together. You'll have a neighborhood pool, neighborhood playground, tennis courts, that kind of stuff is very common. And then the further west you go of Route 109, it gets much more rural, much more woodsy, more spread out. I mean, this is where you're kind of driving through the foothills of the Ozarks. You got a lot of hills going up and down through Wildwood, got a bunch of state parks. And then all throughout this western side is where you will see some of these more private estates, bigger pieces of land, and then some of these more secluded communities that are more spacious, private backyards, that kind of stuff. And really, you will see prices in Wildwood anywhere from 100, 200,000 for a smaller home or a condo near the town center. And you will see all the way up to the multiple millions of dollars for homes for these large estates, but also just land, because like I said, there are big pieces of land, some of these farms, equestrian estates, and you know, they got a big price tag attached to all that acreage. And some of these more high-end homes in there, for example, Grand Meridian, Laramore Valley, Shepherd Oaks, those are some of the more high-end neighborhoods in Wildwood. And one thing you'll probably notice if you're driving through some of these neighborhoods is that the roads go through the hills, they have a lot of twists and turns, and some of these roads can be very narrow. There are some of these neighborhoods, like if you go off the main roads, that are like as skinny as can be. Like I know one time I was showing property and I think I took a wrong turn somewhere and it ended up on Christmas Valley. Christmas Valley Road is a private neighborhood. Like I'm telling you, the road is like barely wide enough for a single car and Every time I'm somewhere in that area, in one of these neighborhoods, more rural parts of Wildwood, I'm like, please, I'm hoping, you know, a neighbor doesn't come driving at me because I'm like, I don't know how we're gonna get our cars around to get through there because I'm telling you, some of these roads are very narrow. Some of them can be steep if you're going up a hill or going down a hill to get to your house. If you're driving at night, you gotta be careful if, if a deer comes out of nowhere because you'll see that Wildwood, lots of woods, lots of these state parks. Deer are everywhere, drive carefully, and you're gonna wanna check them and make sure that your roads are salted during the winter time, or you have a car that can handle the snow because we don't get a ton of snow here, but if you're in Wildwood, an area like that sometimes can be a challenge depending on where you live if you're going up a steep, narrow driveway during the winter time. Just one thing to keep in mind. So Wildwood is very beautiful, and in terms of price, it's definitely not the cheapest suburb of St. Louis. I mean, over the last year, the median is usually upper 500s, but you will really see anything from 200,000 all the way up to multi-millions in Wildwood for you know some of these bigger estates and custom homes. Now, two developments I wanna talk about specifically with Wildwood. The first is the Wi-Fi project. The second is the town center project. So Wi-Fi project. West of Route 109 is typically much more rural. So historically, there have been issues with high-speed internet and cellular access in some of those parts of Wildwood. So the city of Wildwood is currently undergoing a huge infrastructure project to get spectrum internet out out there for some of these areas that haven't had the best history with internet. And you'll hear mixed reviews. It really depends on where you live in Wildwood, but something to think about if working from home is a big thing for you. I mean, I don't live in Wildwood, but I've driven through there and particularly along Wild Horse Creek Road where it turns into Austin Fort Road. If you think about it, it's like a valley through Wildwood with hills on both sides. I do notice when I'm driving through there, I will lose signal. I will lose the music on Spotify. If I'm on Bluetooth, I gotta switch over to a downloaded song. Like getting calls and stuff like that sometimes can be dodgy out there and that is what the city's working on because they are basically investing just under seven million dollars into these 16 different districts around the parts of Wildwood to develop more internet infrastructure. So right now they are in phase one of the internet development project and it's supposed to be about two or three years. Phase one will end in 2024 and then phase two will begin depending on where you live and, and which neighborhoods you're looking at. Now, one thing you might wanna think about the further west of 109 you go is that you'll start to see more homes that have septic tanks and are on well water as opposed to public utilities. It really depends on where you go because you'll see some homes that have septic tanks, but they're on public water, and you'll have some that have public sewer, but they have well water. So it depends on where you go. If you have a strong preference for public utilities as opposed to septic or well, you might wanna think about that because that could eliminate some areas from your search 
in Wildwood. The same goes for some parts down south. If you're looking in Pacific and Eureka, you'll see some of these more rural places and you'll start to see more septic and well. The second project is the town center project. Whether you're moving here or you live in the area, you might know about this already. So the Wildwood town center is one of the newer parts of Wildwood. And like I said, there are a bunch of these newer communities and subdivisions right next to or somewhere around the town center. And there are a couple more currently in the works to bring more development to the town center. So the town center in Wildwood is exactly what it sounds like. It's a cute town center. You got some shops, restaurants, there's the Wildwood Hotel, movie theater. There's a big Deerbergs right there too. The town center is kind of this planned district to bring more commercial space, multifamily and housing towards the center of Wildwood. So in particular, there are two new communities in the works right now. One is by McBride called Crestview. So this is multiple parcels of land that are being reviewed right now along the northern part of Crestview Drive. So it's kind of right up there next to Route 100. And this would basically connect right into the town center. And it's across from Cambury and Main Street Crossing. Now the other new community, again, under review is called Latitude N38 by Benton Homes. So this would be about 62 homes. That's the number right now. A little bit further south. So basically around the corner from Crestview. And this is right across from Main Street Crossing. Right now they're saying about 130 homes for Crestview. Those numbers might change. And then 62 homes, both single family homes and attached town homes for Latitude N38. There's also an apartment complex proposed right now in the middle of the town center, which is funny because a couple years back, there was this big retirement community that was gonna be built called Prime Place. It was a big deal. There was lots of press about it. And up until a year ago, things were looking good, but they never broke ground. A year ago, they postponed indefinitely because rising costs, I guess the numbers didn't work anymore for the developer. Turns out the property is now for sale, nothing ever happened with it so that might turn into something in the future but right below where that was supposed to be is the proposed new apartment complex that would be apartments new commercial space and also a couple single family homes and town homes and supposedly pickleball courts because that's all the rage these days so most of the existing town center was developed in the early 2000s same with some of the neighborhoods south of it right there and then you have some newer examples like the villages at brightleaf Main Street Crossing, Grover Crossing, and Cambury. Those are some of the newest neighborhoods that have been built. Now, like I said, Wildwood is very outdoorsy. What I mean is you have tons of parks. You have so much outdoor space if you're looking for hiking trails, biking trails, stuff to do outside with the kids, the dog, the family, whoever you're going with. You have Babbler State Park, the Rockwoods Preservation, and Greensfelder Park, which are some of the biggest you'll see in Wildwood. And then you've got some smaller parks like Bluffview Park is pretty cool. Great views there. And if you're in Wildwood, they've also got the Hidden Valley Ski Resort, which is on the smaller side. It's kind of like a beginner's slope like it's not huge but if you're looking to learn how to ski or you got little ones that want to ski that's a great place to do that right below that you got camp wyman which is a camp they got ropes courses a lot of outdoor activities we did like a retreat there when i was in high school that's the only time i've ever been there but it was fun I'd highly recommend a bunch of outdoor space. If you're someone who loves being outside, you will love Wildwood because there is a lot of stuff to do. Beautiful area. And hey, again, if you're moving to this part of St. Louis or anywhere else in the area, if you want some help with that, buying a house, buying a condo, just shoot us a message, email, text, whatever works for you. We absolutely love hearing from our clients on YouTube. That is the best part of the job. Outside of that, thank you for watching today. I appreciate it. Hope you take care. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.